In February 2021, cold weather caused power outages in Texas. The outages left many asking how the Texas power grid differs from the rest of the country. Here's how the Texas power grid came to be. The lower 48 states have three electric grids, the Eastern Interconnection, the Western Interconnection, and Texas. The Texas grid is called ERCOT and is run by the Electric Reliability Council of Texas. Before ERCOT, Texas had multiple separate electric utilities. In 1935, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the Federal Power Act, which charged the Federal Power Commission with overseeing interstate electricity sales. By not crossing state lines, Texas electric utilities avoided being subjected to federal rules. It also keeps Texas from accessing supplemental power from the nation's other power grids. During World War II, the utilities agreed to operate together as the Texas Interconnected System to support the war effort and send excess power to areas that made war materials. The Texas Electric Utilities remained interconnected, and ERCOT was formed in 1970, which to this day remains beyond federal jurisdiction. In 2011, federal regulators presented a report about the dangers extreme cold posed to the grid. At the time, lawmakers didn't make any changes. In 2019, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation found that the Texas power grid was the only part of the country without enough resources to meet projected peak electricity demand in summertime.